What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jay Coop and today we are going to be getting into every Air Jordan that the GOAT <laughs> himself wore en route to his six championships. Let's get into it. Hey guys, we all know Michael Jeffrey Jordan is the GOAT, man. <laughs> he is the greatest basketball player of all time. In my eyes, he's the greatest athlete of all time. The man went to the NBA Finals six times and never was defeated. That's six championships, people. He didn't do it by himself. He had the great Phil Jackson. He had the defensive assassin, Scottie Pippen. He had the rebounding machine, Dennis Rodman. But Michael Jordan was the man. For my younger supporters, you may just know him because of his popular shoes, but in Michael Jordan's playing time, there was nobody like him. Back to his shoes, they're so iconic. Even the ones that he didn't wear en route to championships. We're gonna focus on all the Air Jordans that he wore to his six rings. Every shoe that I'm gonna show you was designed by Tinker Hatfield. He played a very intricate role in the iconic Jordan franchise. So without further ado, let's get into these kicks. In Jordan's first championship, he wore the Air Jordan 6, black and infrared. This is an iconic sneaker, people. Jordan had to go through his hardships before reaching that first championship. You had the Bad Boy Pistons. You had the Larry Bird Celtics. MJ finally broke the barrier in 1991 to go on and win his first championship versus the Los Angeles Lakers and he pulled out the Air Jordan 6s. As you can see, you have that all black upper. You have that 2-3 on the side of the sixes. You have that beautiful infrared Jordan lace lock and you have that Air Jordan symbol on the tongue. This shoe goes down as the first one worn to his first title. On to the next one, guys. Okay guys, on the Jordan's second championship, he wore the black and true red sevens. And guys, unfortunately, that's the one shoe that I don't have. But I do have the Bordeaux and Cardinal sevens, but there's no reason for me to show those to you because you know what those look like. Let's break down the shoe that Jordan wore to his second championship. He wore the Air Jordan seven versus the Portland Trailblazers. That was the famous shot that he made over Cliff Robinson. The seven is such an iconic shoe. Tinker Hatfield made this with sort of a Hirachi look and that's where you get that tongue from and just the whole silhouette of the Jordan seven. And guys, eventually, I hope to get my hands on those black and true reds. On to the next championship, 1994. Championship number three and MJ pulled out the Air Jordan eight playoffs. The playoff eights are insane, man. This is probably one of my favorite shoes ever right here. MJ wore these to complete his first three-peat burst the Phoenix Suns. They had a squad, man, but MJ was the GOAT. As you can see, the Air Jordan 8 has those two straps across the front of the shoe that makes it like no other. You have that fuzzy Jordan symbol on the tongue, so iconic and the inside tongue of the playoff eight is insane. You have that abstract art full of color. You also have those hits on the back panels of the shoe, and you have that two, three on the strap, and the bottom also has those beautiful eccentric colors, man. Now guys, fun fact, these were actually coined the playoffs. Playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? Because these were the only time that Jordan wore these shoes. So the only time that you saw him wear them was when he was getting rings on the championship number four. Okay guys, on to the Air Jordan 11 breads. This is possibly the most iconic Jordan ever. Jordan took a break from basketball and went to play baseball and we thought he was gone forever. But the man himself had to come back. Now guys, he came back in 1995 wearing the number 45, but he ran into the buzzsaw of Penny Hardaway and Shaquille O'Neal for the Orlando Magic. 
But that next year, let the games begin. MJ came back with a bang to a 72 win season and arguably the greatest team ever. In the finals, he faced the Seattle Supersonics and he pulled out the Air Jordan 11 bridge. 1996 might be the best year for sneakers. You had the Grand Hill feelers. You had the Gary Payton zooms. You had the Scottie Pippen up tempos. None tops these right here. As you can see, we have that all black upper with that black patent leather that was never before seen on a sneaker. We have that white going around the bottom, going into that red translucent sole. You have that red jump man on the back and you have your Air Jordan on the tongue with the red Jordan symbol, the black Jordan sign, and that carbon fiber. I know I said the eights were one of my favorites, but these are one of my favorites as well. You can't really get more iconic than the Air Jordan 11. And Jordan went on to win his fourth championship in this shoe right here. All right, guys, on the ring number five. Championship number five, Michael Jordan pulls out the Air Jordan 12 playoff colorway. Nice. Probably the more iconic colorway of the 12s would be the flu <laughs> games. That was when Michael Jordan had the flu when he scored 38 points in game five to beat the Utah Jazz. He also wore this beautiful colorway that is called the Playoff 12. As you can see, we have that all tumbled leather upper that symbolizes the sunrise. You have that white leather at the bottom and you have that Jumpman in gray looking so crispy. On the tongue, you have that two three written out in white with that red Jumpman at the top. On the bottom, you have those two black hits and your carbon fiber. And on the back, it says Jordan, quality inspired by the greatest player ever, 2-3. I love the playoff 12s. Not my favorite, but this is still an iconic shoe. It's a tough act to follow when you have the 11s just a year before, but Nike and MJ did their thing with this one right here. All right, guys, onto that six and final championship. Let's get into it. I got, I got lots of rings, I feel, I feel like, Jordan like Jordan and then it's prime. 1998, Michael Jordan is en route to his sixth championship. He started off the series with the Utah Jazz, sporting the Air Jordan 13 playoffs. Whew. This is possibly my favorite playoff Jordan right here. This thing is crazy. Whenever I do pull these out, these tend to get the most attention. I don't know what it is, but I do know what it is. This is just a beautiful sneaker and MJ actually wore these in the beginning of the series. As you can see, we have that all black tumble leather upper with those whole preparations that symbolize a Black Panther. We know that Michael Jordan was the Black Cat. We have that Jordan hologram 23 on the side that symbolizes the Panther's eye. We have that red jump man at the top of the tongue and we have that Jordan at the bottom of the tongue in that same yellow. And the bottom symbolizes the paw print. And we have that same yellow with the Jordan symbol on the inside. How you start is typically how you finish, but not for MJ. He started the series in these, but he switched it over to the Air Jordan 14 last shots. This is an iconic shoe simply because Jordan took his last shot to win his final championship in this shoe, breaking the ankles of Byron Russell. Moment of silence for Byron Russell's ankles. As you can see, you see that Jordan logo inside of the Ferrari shaped emblem on the side of the shoe. You have pretty much the whole black upper with hits of suede and leather. On the back, you have that two three on that tire print of the Ferrari. And you have that Jordan at the top of the tongue and the Air Jordan symbol right on the toe. On the bottom, you see that tire tread with that black Jordan symbol and the red hits. The Air Jordan 14 is an iconic shoe. I wouldn't say it's my favorite, favorite, but I love it. Now, the Ferrari 14, that's another story, but Jordan didn't wear those in the finals. This is a great shoe to end off MJ's legacy on his way to six rings, baby. Now, I know that they say that you shouldn't pick favorites, but I feel it's only right that I have to pick my favorite Air Jordan that MJ wore en route to one of his six championships. The winner 
is the Air Jordan 13 playoffs. I don't know what it is with this shoe, but I love it. You have the black, you have the red, you have the white. Everything that symbolizes a Air Jordan, but you also have those hits of yellow and that makes this thing stand out so crazy. In my opinion, the playoff 13 is in a league of its own. Now, you know I had to rock the crazy championship gold Mitchell and S Bulls jersey. I picked this thing up on NBAstore.com. As you can see, we have the all gold Chicago Bulls jersey. We have that classic Bulls going across the chest, NBA logo, and that iconic 2-3. On the back, we have that Jordan number 23, and we have that red, black, and white piping looking oh so clean. This jersey will run you $350, but for an authentic Michelin S like this, it costs to be the boss. You know, I did not pay full price. Search for promo codes, be smart with your money. But this jersey is fire. Okay, guys, there you have it. Every Air Jordan worn to Michael Jordan's six championships. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section, what's your favorite Air Jordan worn? I know people are gonna have something to say about this one. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. It goes a long way. Follow me on Instagram at Jackson S. Cooper. Till next time, stay blessed. Peace.